Completing your swing in a balanced poise finish position is without a doubt one of the big key differences that you see with the professional golfer versus those who struggle to strike the ball. If you're in this category, stay tuned. This video is really gonna help. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here at the beautiful Joondalup Resort. Before we get stuck in, as always, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you get notified of all the great content coming your way. Alrighty, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the finish position. Where should your lower body, where should your upper body be at the completion of your golf swing? Now, if you just spend any time down on the driving range, you'll see a bunch of golfers not finishing forward enough towards the target. There's a lot of back foot bandits out there that are spending too long on that trail foot. They're not shifting their pressure enough. They're not shifting their mass enough. And they're really struggling with the quality of ball striking. Now, why would this cause poor ball striking? Well, mainly because where you shift your mass, so let's talk about our torso as a whole, has a huge influence over where the bottom of your golf swing. And the bottom of your golf swing is where the club bottoms out. And with what we see with the professional, if this ball's on the ground, using this as a reference with a stick between my stance, we would see the professional hit the golf ball first, the ground second, and then that would result in a divot. Now let's talk about what we would see with the professional of where they would finish their swing. Well, not only would they strike the ball first, the ground second, but when they complete their swing, we would generally see the hips forward or tucked and the chest extended towards the target. Now these are some of the key visuals that we see with those players who are incredibly proficient at the game and get the job done on a consistent basis. However, with those who are struggling with fat shots and thin shots and everything in between, we generally tend to see an inconsistent bottom of the swing and a pelvis and a body which is not far enough forward through the golf ball. Effectively, where your mass is at the moment of impact and through the golf ball has a huge influence on your ability to strike it well. So if you feel like you're struggling to get through and you are struggling with your contact, well, I've got an excellent drill for you to follow. So what I've got down on the ground here is a tour stick. And generally when we do these little exercises, we'll put the ball at the end of the tour stick, but not for this one. We're actually gonna use this tour stick as a reference for the inside of the lead foot. So I'm gonna put that there. And what I'm gonna do is just have a couple of practice swings first and I'm gonna get my normal ball position. So with a seven iron, we're gonna to look to get that about one club head inside the lead foot. And our objective is as simple as this. Our goal with our belt is to get our belt in front of that stick. Now, for those of you who tend to struggle with hitting behind, hitting it thin and struggling with that ball contact, there's a good chance that you're still finishing with your belt behind this line. So effectively, it's just a simple reference for where you should get your lower body finishing at the completion of the swing. So what I want you to do is you're gonna chuck this stick down on the ground, give yourself some room, and you're gonna make some practice swings with the objective of simply finishing your belt buckle in front of this line. Now you can see it is really getting forward. My hips are extended all the way towards the target and my chest is tall. Now, we don't wanna be one of these players that is pushing their hips forward and leaning back. You can see there's a lot of pressure on that spine there. But if I do that, this is the great thing about this drill, we're still not gonna be able to get our belt far enough forward so you can see it still falls behind. So when we set up, we're gonna start off with some slow swings, just simply pushing those hips forward, feeling like the chest is tall. You can see my belt is over my front foot. My weight is all on the outside of my lead foot. Now, sometimes if you do this, you might feel like you're getting a little bit imbalanced. That usually means your left foot for the right-hander is simply not flared enough. So for example, if I have my foot straight on like this and I make a follow through, I try and push my hips forward, I might feel like I'm gonna fall over. That is not a bad thing by any means, it just means that you generally need a little bit more foot flare with that lead foot to give you a bit of stability and support as you get to that lead side. So once you've done a couple of practice swings, you're comfortable, you're confident, you can really feel that your hips are getting through into that position. Well then what I want you to do, is simply just grab a golf ball and you're gonna do the same thing. We're really just gonna focus on getting the ball contact first, ground second. Finish with the hips in front, nice and balanced. You can use this as a checkpoint. Simply push those hips forward, drop it from there. You can see my belt buckle 
about a foot in front of that line. So a very common misunderstanding in the golf swing is how much forward those hips actually need to move through the golf ball. Very similar to any other athletic motion like an uppercut punch in which you're trying to project as much force and power in the direction of your intended target. The golf swing is no different. Chuck a stick down on the ground right on the inside of that front foot and make some swings pushing those hips as far forward as you possibly can. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As always, once again, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.